Okay, so continue on with the rust repair here. I'm, I'm working on a, my cab corner. Um, <clears throat> I've made some cuts on this. I've actually done a couple cuts here to get it the size I want. Um, now that I've got it, <clears throat> now that I got it close to, uh, I got it close to my cut that I made on the on the truck. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, actually cut the truck side to match up with my patch panel, just because I think it's easier to to do that than it is to try to get this patch panel to line up. Um, I got it marked out with tape <clears throat> right here. I'm just going to cut this first part out here um, to about here. Then I'm going to fit this in there again. And then I'll make a line for the back side to, uh, to cut that piece out. Because <clears throat> when, you, when you cut this out and the panel moves, you know, moves around, um, the back here might not line up if I so I don't want to just continue and make the whole cut and then have a huge gap that I got to fill in. So this is uh, this is what I'm doing here. Uh, this patch panel seems to be fitting pretty pretty good actually, and uh, <clears throat> the back there it might not go all the way as far as the other one did, but I'll just use some seam sealer and fill it in. So. Uh, I got to uh, make this cut now. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my uh, cutoff wheel here on a little air thing. And I know I had a guy in one of my earlier videos saw me cutting with uh, my grinding disc like this. And I think he was trying to make fun of me. Um, kind of saying like I couldn't afford uh, grinding discs, so that's why I was using such a small one. But um, I'm going to use these discs up. I don't care if I got a whole pile of new discs. I'm going to use every bit of this disc up that I possibly can because there, there's no sense in wasting it. You know, I'm going to, as long as this thing will get in here and cut, uh, I think it will cut. Um, you know, as long as I can get in there and cut with it, I'm going to cut with it. So, um, I guess I'm going to start cutting here. Okay, so I think I've used every bit of life I can get out of this disc. I gotta get another one. I can't reach the uh, backside that uh, the lip, so I'm gonna have to change it out. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the fit here I got now. Um, it's gotta be um, massaged as I weld this. Uh, this is a patch panel. It's not going to be perfect, at, you know, a perfect curve like this. Um, it's it's pretty darn close, but it's going to have to be pushed and uh, um, shaped as I weld that around there. But uh, pretty happy with what I got here. Um, take your time <clears throat> with something like this. 
should be able to get it pretty close without having huge gaps. Um, I'm going to uh, continue on with the, the bottom, this bottom rocker panel to uh, where it's solid up there. Uh, that should be a lot easier. You're not dealing with uh, curves like this, this cab corner here. It's, it's pretty much straight on each side. So that should be very simple to uh, mock up my bottom panel. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm not welding these in yet because I got to clean up underneath. I got to sand some of this rust off. Um, there's an inner piece in here. I want to kind of knock all the scale off that. Put some rust converter in there. Even though I'm going to uh, fluid film inside these rockers when I'm done. Still want to try to uh, stop and slow down the rust that's already started. So I'm going to continue on with this. Um, I'm going to fit my, my bottom rocker piece and I'll be back. Okay, I got this bottom piece uh, fitted. That cab corner needs to be uh, clamped down it popped out again but it fits a lot better than that but um, I got all my pieces made here so um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all these pieces off and kind of clean up underneath there them uh, inner pieces and then I'm going to spray them with some uh, rust converter and then uh, I'll be ready to actually start uh, tacking these things in place Well, we got a change of plan, guys. See all that? That is Bondo. That's not even the worst part. Some of this stuff is thick. So, instead of, I guess, trying to repair this, I gotta cut it out and just replace it. I didn't know there was any Bondo down here. So, uh, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut the spot welds out on the bottom. Uh, continue my line here all the way to the front. And get it out, I guess. Wish I would have known that before I cut my, uh, my patch panel there. To weld it together, I guess.
Well, it's a shame I had to cut that off. I mean, it's cruddy there a little bit, but I mean, it's thick. Another thing, look how thick that uh, Bondo is right there. Kind of starting to make sense now. Um, there's been a repair done to this truck on the rocker panel. Um, you can see right there, um, it's been welded there, and it's been welded there. So this rocker's been um, replaced or something, and I'm not exactly sure what happened. The inside of the rocker. You can't really tell from the top side. Whoever did it did a pretty good job of hiding it because I can't tell. And that explain, also explains the grease that uh, was up under there. They sprayed that. They sprayed that because uh, they couldn't get behind the weld to uh, uh, paint it. So. That explains all this grease up under here, which actually kind of saved this side. Um, it's a little cruddy right there, but uh, I believe that's solid. I didn't really find any um, rot on the inner rocker, so... Um, but I got a lot more work now because I got to do a hole. I got to do a hole rocker here. And I got to piece it together because I cut it, thinking I was only going to do part of this. But, you know, I didn't really know what I had here, so I kind of had to do this. I didn't really want no bondo down below on my truck, so. Um, I guess I get the other panel, start fitting it, cleaning up, and uh, continuing on, I guess. Okay, so I'm moving along here, um, getting ready to weld in a little patch panel that I made here for the inner, for the inner rocker right here. I cut this out right here and it was attached to this. Um, I'm going to weld up these um, spot welds that I cut too deep um, a little bit. Uh, the rest of this rocker is really solid. I just, it was kind of cruddy on the inside. Got my needle scaler in there for some of it and got a lot of it out, but uh, just kind of scraped the rest of it out. Um, should be good. Um, then I got to weld up this spot weld that I actually cut almost completely out there. I got to weld that up while I'm welding this panel in. Um, probably don't need this this panel here, but um, I figure, uh, you know, they didn't just put it in there for looks, so um, I'm just going to quickly put this little patch in here, something like that, and um, i call it good, and then I'll start, uh, start spraying this rust with the rust converter. First got to clean it up. I got the dust and, and Bondo dust everywhere. Um, I guess I should show you the inside of this rocker here. Now that I've got um, got it ground away, um, you can see where it was bent in right there and hit, or, or bent in somehow. It's too much light, I guess. Um, right there, um, it's actually welded in. Uh, right there, and then um, up there. So, I um, should be able to cover this with what I'm doing. Um, shouldn't really be any any problems uh, getting rid of that. Don't exactly know what happened. Looks like maybe the, the whole door might have been hit. 
And it actually went into kind of pushed the uh, inner rocker back a little ways, kind of deformed that too, uh, right there. Kind of got that little bit deformed out to work on that. I think I can get that straightened out. But I'd rather cut it out and uh, get rid of all that mess, all that bondo, and uh, have all steel down there. The only thing, the only reason I really wanted to save that is because um, it was solid and it's a lot thicker. The original piece there is a lot thicker than the piece I have. But, you know, if it's all rusted out, um, the new piece is thicker than the rusted out stuff. So, um, I'm going to continue on here. I'm going to get these welded in. Hopefully get this sprayed with the rust converter. Got to wait 24 hours for that to cure. Uh, then I'll be welding uh, the panels on. Cab corners and uh, the outer rockers. Okay, got my hole welded up. Got my uh, patch welded in there. I'm not looking for any beauty contest right here. It's underneath the, the deal. I just wanted to put back what I cut out. Um, should give, I guess it's for strength. Um, holding the inner panel from flopping, I guess. Um, it is a crew cab, so I mean there's a lot of rocker there, so I don't want to take any strength away. Um, one more repair I have to do. Um, this actually came out of the um, one of the uh, cab supports. Now this truck when I bought it had uh, fiberglass running boards. Um, all along it and it actually had a skirt that went up there and there was a skirt that went around to the back All fiberglass it looked terrible. I took it off um, Anyway, you can see all the holes in this they screwed brackets to attach that the running boards on there and in the process looks like it rotted um, This out right here so I cut that out. I'm just gonna quickly weld in a patch there and then um, call it good okay so there's my panel ready to be welded on you can see it's one of these uh, uh, cross or cab supports um, like I said this one had uh, a little soft spot there because they screwed the running boards into it um, I don't see other any other ones that are bad. Uh, probably don't even need to have, have fix this, but um, I want to do it while I'm, while I'm under here doing all this. Um, it looks like the underside of this cab has been sprayed with something. I'm not sure if it's it's undercoating or or um, I'm not sure what it is, but the whole underside has been sprayed with something. Um, I'll probably go inside these, uh, inside all these cab supports, spray some fluid film back in there. There's, there's three or four of them on this crew cab here, um, just to, uh, help protect them. And, uh, I'll continue on here.
Okay, so that's welded in. Um, good enough for under here. Good. Okay, so now that I got uh, to replace the whole rocker instead of just part of it, um, I gotta weld this rocker back together that I cut. So I got it clamped down. I think I'm as straight as I need to be. I got a level there on there to make sure that uh, I believe it's straight straight as it was. So I'm going to weld this back together here. Hopefully it's not going to warp it too badly. And then, um, then I got to fit it up on the truck again. So kind of doing some rework because of my uh, mistake of not um, checking the whole rocker. I should have sanded the whole rocker before I actually uh, cut the patch panel, but um, live and learn, I guess. Um, gonna weld this up, hopefully, and then uh, continue on fitting. Um, got my welder turned down so I don't burn through this uh, sheet metal. It's pretty fairly thin. Got the little Hobart, awesome little welder. Um, it's the uh, 130XL, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get to welding. Okay, so I'm not really concerned about what the inside looks like. Um, I'm going to probably grind that down just a little bit. Just to uh, um, kind of clean it up a little bit. Not really worried about what it looks like in here. Um, going to flip it over, probably do the same thing. Um, weld it up, but then i got to grind that flat. So, because it is the outside. Hopefully it's not warped too badly. Okay, so I got my panel, my rocker panel, pretty close to um, where it needs to be. Um, before I really, kind of really get it close on the length, I want to put my cab corner in. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to weld this cab corner um, into place. Um, you can see I, I sprayed the back of it um, with some weld through um, coating. So, um, <clears throat> this is actually supposed to uh, um, it, I guess it's supposed to after after you weld, it's supposed to uh, expand back over the weld and give you um, um, corrosion protection uh, where you weld. Otherwise, if you put anything else down, um, any other kind of paint, it's just going to burn it up. And you're still going to have a bare a weld behind your weld. So that's what I use everywhere I'm spot welding. Everywhere I, I can't paint after I weld. So that's what I'm using uh, there. Um, I've actually used, I'm using this stuff here. The Duplicolor Rust Fix, Rust Converter. Um, 
I'm using that in the rocker panel uh, everywhere that there's rust inside there. Um, basically, i uh, just taking um, whatever will fit in there. Whatever I can get up in the rocker panel to clean it off, wire wheel, grinding disc, you know, um, I've got a wire brush even. Um, I don't know where all that went, but it must be down there. Um, basically, anything to, to scratch the rust up and uh, um, try to get rid of it as much as I can. Um, and then I, I do the, the rust fix. Um, I'm not even sure if this even works for a rust converter. What I should do is I probably should spray some of this on my frame back there, the rusty frame, um, run it all winter plowing, and then see, uh, see what it looks like uh, in the spring. That would probably be a really good test for this stuff. Uh, I've used this stuff before. Uh, it's, it's easy to get, easy to spray on. Um, at the auto parts store. So that's why I use that. Uh, this, I guess this probably isn't necessary um, for me because I am going to be spraying the inside of the rockers with um, some fluid film. So uh, that really is probably all I need. I don't even need to do the the rust converter, but um, you know, I, I guess the more things you can do to try to stop the rust, the better, I guess. That's the way I figure it. Um, anything and everything you can do to, to slow that rust down is going to give you an edge. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm try to try to slow that rust down any way I can. Um, I got to let this uh, weld through coating dry. I've got some uh, sprayed on my uh, corner <clears throat> where I'm going to be uh, welding so actually I gotta put one more coat on there on this after this dries and then I'll be uh, um, welding this in okay guys on a side note um, you're gonna want to be careful when you're uh, welding um, these cab corners and actually, um, this this here too, if you weld it up in here, and then the the front too, um, there's foam in the in the cab that starts um, right about here and up. It, you can see it under there. They've got like a plastic cover where they stick in there, and then they spray it with foam, I guess. So there's there's foam in there. So if you're doing any kind of welding. Um, past this area, um, you got to make sure you don't set that foam on fire. Um, there's a guy on my uh, one of my videos commented, "Velvet Hammer," um, kind of warned me about that. I can see it. I mean, I saw it because I cut this out and looked up in there. But uh, I, you can see, I'm welding here, and the foam starts about here. So um, no worries. It shouldn't should not get that hot. Um, that high up there so um, I should be good to go on this just wanted to let you guys know if you are doing anything um, any kind of heat from this up uh, you might want to be careful because there's foam on there and you do not want to set that on fire that would probably uh, end up in a mess if you started that foam on fire so um, I'm gonna get my second coat on uh, these pieces of my weld through and then um, hopefully start welding these, uh, um, welding the cab corner in real soon here. Okay, so I'm getting ready to weld this uh, cab corner on. And uh, this is going to take a little, a little time and a little tweaking for this to uh, actually fall into place. Um, because it is an aftermarket, uh, um, aftermarket cab corner uh, repair panel so it's not going to be perfect here but uh, the main part that I'm really really concerned with is this area right here because this is what everybody's going to see okay in here this is getting seam sealer um, down here 
no one sees that. Back here, no one sees that. The cab's on there, and uh, it's getting seam sealer too over here. So the part that I'm concerned about getting uh, lined up the best is right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this lined up the best it can, and then I'll do the other parts um, the best I can. So, um, time to start welding this in, stop babbling, and uh, get it done. Okay, a little bit of a tip here. Um, <clears throat> if you're using the, the weld through, um, you're going to want to go into your holes, take a little screwdriver or something, and you want to scratch. You wouldn't want to scratch off the uh, the weld through because otherwise you won't get a you won't get a good arc to start the weld and then you get a crappy weld and then uh, um, the weld probably won't hold. So you want to get that coating off uh, right where you're going to weld. Um, <clears throat> I found that really helps. Okay, so there's all my spot welds there, all the way around. Uh, got my spot welds on the inside, and then um, all the way around there. Got my spot welds on the back there. Um, I think it's fitting real nice. Um, going to uh, get my grinder now. We're going to smooth these all out, and then. Uh, going to uh, move on to uh, finish fitting the rocker. Okay, and the cab corner is done. I think it turned out really nice. Should be minimal body filler to, to smooth that out. I can feel it's indented a little bit. Probably warped it with the heat. But, um, I mean, that's a nice fit. That's a nice fit. Now I'll get my rocker panel to line up with this. And we'll be good. So, off to my rocker panel. Probably set it up here. Measure my final measurement. Trim it down. And start welding that in. Okay, so I'm happy with my fitment down here. Um, you can see uh, the only thing I really don't like is it doesn't come back as far as the original. And I'm not exactly sure if that's because of uh, the accident this thing was in and it kind of pushed the, this inner rocker um, towards the frame there or what, but... Uh, um, it's got a, it, once I push on it, it goes, it does go a little further on there. I can't push on it and do the video, but, um, spot welds, you're going to be somewhere around here. Um, and it's got to come in, it'll come in a little bit more. Uh, should be able to hit, uh, metal. So, um, I should be able to get this thing uh, solid. So, um, I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark all the, the spots where I'm going to put a spot weld because there's drainage places under here and I don't want to poke a hole where I'm not going to do a um, spot weld and then um, I'll do the same thing on the top lip I'll run across there and uh, mark my places I, I want to do a spot weld make sure I can get to it with the doors on here and then um, do my weld through on, on the inside of this and on everywhere on the inside of the inner rocker and then I'll be spotting this on so should be able to get this uh, get this on tonight hopefully okay guys got it all spot welded in place You 
You can see that I got just a little bit more welding to do. Um, also got to clean up my welds. Got to grind them down. Um, here's the uh, spot welds in the door. Some of them come out uh, better than others. I got to deal with that because I had it cut off if you remember. Um, and there's this side. So um, just going to clean them up and um, grind them down and that's this side's done. That's all uh, it's all uh, welded in all back to uh, being solid so um, probably gonna end this video I'll go ahead and uh, probably do the other side without filming this uh, remember how I said that uh, this side was better than the other side well looks can be deceiving because I did a little bit of uh, poking around and yeah you can see um, it's definitely uh, this side's worse than the other side so hopefully that inner rock is in good shape um, if I get any surprises or something interesting I'll uh, do a video on it but um, I guess that's it for this one guys I'll see you in the next one